this time I have a quite rare piece of equipment here. It is a Bendix RA-1B aircraft radio receiver. This unit belongs in a restored Douglas DC-6 aircraft cockpit. The design of this model of the US-made aircraft radio receiver dates from around 1938 and was used both in civil and military aircrafts. Frequency range is from 150 kilohertz to 50 megahertz in six ranges. Radio can receive AM and CW transmissions. Originally, there was a motor generator called dynamotor filter to produce the required pl plate voltage about 200 volts. Heater voltage was selectable by changing jumpers inside the radio for either 12 or 24 volts, which was supplied from the aircraft battery. Unit could be operated from a remote control unit, which mechanically adjusted the band selector and tuning controls. There's also a provision for headphones in the front plate. I will have to see if the radio could be brought to live again and we also need to replace the missing dynamotor filter unit and try to restore the original operation as much as possible as I will also have to investigate the possibility to use the radio for modern airband traffic listening in VHF as now the radio is all only able to receive HF transmissions. There were a couple of issues I could find by looking at the unit. None of them should disable the operation, however. I connected an external 200 volt plate supply and a 6.3 volt heater supply to see if it would work. Here I am testing the operation by feeding a 2.1 MHz signal from the signal generator to the antenna input. It is amplitude modulated by audio from the computer. And uh, speakers are connected to the front plate audio output terminals right there. Let's see if the radio can receive anything. Tosin taajuusalue on nyt kyllä ihan väärä, että sitä täytyy vielä tutkia. Eli radio periaatteessa on täysin toimiva. This is the schematic for the plate power supply to replace the dynamotor unit. It is a switch mode forward converter. It uses two N enhancement type MOSFETs as switches 
and the control is implemented by using a TL494 IC circuit. I'm using only one of its error amplifiers for, for, for the voltage control. The transformer is a rebound unit from an old PC power supply. For reception of VHF transmissions on airband, I constructed this converter. It has a VHF amplifier stage, mixer and a local oscillator. Typical airband is about 120 megahertz and that will be mixed down to HF range which RA1B can receive. Thank you. 